What is up, YouTube? It is your boy Avery here, bringing you guys the Yu-Gi-Oh! Extravaganza first place Eldritch Dragoon Stun deck profile, and that was a mouthful. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to say, I have never seen a deck grind as well as this stun deck can. And when I say grind, I mean it can grind better than the best girl in the club. This deck is absolutely insane when it is able to pop off and be able to get its stun engine rolling. Before we get into all that, be sure you're subscribed to the channel, hit that like button, favorite, comment, all of that good stuff. Be sure to tell everyone that you love your mom, your dad, your cat, your dog about this video, uh, because I have not seen anyone do a deck profile on this. Even mcole 40 didn't actually do a deck profile. He just showed the deck list, and then I had to figure out what the hell this picture was, and then I realized after three days, oh, it's Magicalized Fusion. I just had to go through all the normal spells to find it. I know, I'm petty, but let's go ahead and get into this video. So, uh, as I said, it is a stun concept. Uh, you use things like Inspector Border to basically shit on the opponent's day. Uh, you have the Dragoon package, which is obviously very good. I've had multiple games testing this where I end on like a Dragoon with three back row and a card in hand, um, which you'd think that wouldn't be good. It's actually very good. So we are playing, of course, the Dark Magician and the Red Eyes. This, these are my two favorite artworks, the OG classics. Then we're playing two copies of El Lich of Golden Lord. Three Inspector Border, and one Red Eyes Wyvern. The Wyvern is for the Red Eyes Insight, obviously, so that you can dump it, get Red Eyes Fusion, and start making plays. Inspector Border is absolutely amazing. So many people, ever since this card came out, have had questions out the ass about this, about rulings with this card. I want to set the record straight, because I, I've seen this debated a lot. When it says it cannot be normal or special summon if you control a monster, keep in mind that flip summoning is a mechanic in the game. So, for example, if you have a Dragoon, okay, and then obviously you can't summon the turn you make it. Next turn, you set the Inspector Border. The turn after you set the Inspector Border, you can then flip it up. And uh, when I used to play Stun a couple years back, when it was a good option, um, I would do things like have a face of Inspector Border, and then I would set another one. And if the opponent tried to run into it, thinking like they were popping a Fossil Dyna, you could then flip up the Inspector Border. And people would be like, oh no, it pops, you control monster. And it's like, no, it's not like Rivalry of Warlords where it just automatically pops, it just stays face up. Or if I wanted to, I could set the Inspector Border and then flip it up, and now I have two Inspector Borders on the field that you have to deal with. So keep that in mind, know your rulings when playing this deck, and uh, it is like any other stun deck. If you misplay, you are going to get much more heavily punished for it than playing, let's say, something like Invoke Dogmatica Shadal. Uh, for the spells, we're playing two copies of Red Eyes Fusion, one copy of Magicalized Fusion. It not only doubles up as another fusion spell, but also as essentially a miracle fusion to get out Red Eyes Dragoon, uh, because you can go Red Eyes Fusion, dump these two, make the Dragoon, use the Magicalized Fusion to fuse uh, from your field or grave, so you can banish both of the materials from your grave so that the opponent can't Ice Dragon prison you, which has happened several times in the several games that I have played with this deck. They just go, oh, you want to make a fusion? Okay, cool. Um, we're going to go Ice Dragon's Prison, get out Dark Magician, and then banish Dark Magician and the Dragoon, and now you're fucked. So, be sure to hold your negates for things like that. Um, that that's very crucial with this deck. We're playing three Pot of Extrap, one Card of Demise, two Red Eyes Insight, uh, and then three Curse Eldaland for the Elder Lich Engine. Now for the traps, we're playing two Storming Mirror Force. I really like this tech. Uh, if you remember back when I taught with Trickstar a couple years back, uh, I played Double Blazing and one Storming. It should have been Triple Blazing, but I really liked Storming. Like, it just pants so many people, and I still feel like it pants as people to this day. Um, there were a couple games I played on EDO Pro where people were clearly not expecting the Storming, and they got punished for it. <laughs> We are then playing three copies of Scarlet Sanguine, two Ice Dragon Prison. This card's fucking busted. <laughs> two copies of Torrential. So many more people are playing this now. I mean, when you have a Golden Lord up that can't be shot by card effects, and the opponent tries to make a board, and you just Torrential them, and then you still get to keep your monster. Or you have a Dragoon face up, and they start trying to make plays, and you just go Torrential and then still keep your monster. So good. Three Conquistador, two Hakiro, three Solemn Strike, and three Solemn Judgment. Amazing cards. Just amazing. Uh, for the extra deck, we're playing three Dragoon and three Stardust Dragon, because we do have two Starlight Road in the extra deck, or in the side deck. And it also doubles up, too, if the extra ends up hitting it, because, you know, it is random on EDO Pro. Uh, it essentially just doubles up as a card that can be banished off the extra and then you're not really losing anything. Like, I'd rather banish all three Stardust Dragon in any of my games that I did not side deck in Starlight Road, because it's just a useless card in your extra deck. 
The whale had to drink some coffee, y'all. I apologize. We are then playing one copy of Double A Zeus. Uh, it's Double A Zeus. Not much to say there. One Infinity Dark Utopic. Um, keep in mind that these are level 10s, so you can make some rank 10s in here. Um, all it does is that whenever a monster is destroyed in battle and sent the grave, you detach material, bring it out. You can special summon it in your field defense decision, and then you can target one of the face-up special summon monster on your field. So obviously something besides Dark Utopic. Uh, and they gain life points equal to its original attack. And it's a 4,000 attack defense beater. So if you pop, let's say, their Golden Lord, you can get out their Golden Lord. And then use this guy's effect to gain back 2,500 life points. Seems good. Super Dora, because it's Super Dora, 4,000 fat ass. It's fat. Uh, one Gustav Max. One Gaia Dragon, because uh, you can use a rank 5 or 6. So you've got these rank 5s here. Because keep in mind that the trap cards, these come out as level 5 monsters. So one Gaia Dragon, one Vespinato. One Pleiades, one Volcosaurus, and one Shark Fortress. Side deck, we're playing one Game of Steel, one Pancratops, and one Sticky String Kaiju. Uh, what I've noticed through testing is that pretty much the only thing that you're going to be taking out for these three is like the Inspector Border. Because the Inspector Borders are really only good if you're going first, right? Like if the opponent pops off and they have a board and they've got negates and shit, you're going to want to break that. So if you're not going first, like if you win game one and you just know you're not going to go first, just take out the inspector boards and put in these three. Like I said, this deck is pretty straightforward. Like you're never going to side out your Red Eyes engine. You're never going to side out the Golden Lords. The only thing that can possibly be left is to side out the borders. Unless you want to play more monsters, in which case you do you, boo-boo. I wouldn't do that. we got triple evenly matched, triple different dimension ground for the mirror match. Uh, this turn, any monster sent to the grave is banished instead. Uh, I really like it. I haven't yet used it in any of the matches that I've played, um, but it's essentially a dimension shifter that isn't dead after turn one. Uh, Double Starlight Road, um, Lightning Storm, and Feather Duster really hurt this deck. Uh, two TC Boo, one Imperial Order, and one Skill Drain. Uh, pretty much the same concept I was using when I was playing Sacred Beast. You get out of Dragoon, you get your board set up, and then you just activate Imperial Order and watch your opponent just take a dump in their pants. <laughs> so... Yeah, and then of course Evenly Match is just a great field wipe for going second. This side deck is pretty much meant to combat any bad matchups uh, if you're going first, and then any bad matchups of going second, which Stun is known for just being god-awfully bad going second. This deck overall, I feel, is not terrible going second, depending on what the opponent starts off with, right? So, you know, if the opponent is able to open up with multiple negates, if they're playing Dragon Link, and they just drop their pants and take a dookie on your board, then you're probably going to lose the game, because you really don't have a whole lot of ways to break boards other than baiting out cards, like using an extra app, hope that the opponent negates, using a Curse Eldeland, hoping that they ash it so that you can use Red Eyes Fusion, Things like that is really what you need to look out for. But let me know what you guys think about this deck. I personally enjoy it. I love pissing people off with stun. Going Inspector Border Set 4 is fantastic. Like, even opening up... Let's see if we can do a test in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This isn't the best. It's not terrible. You can set everything, use the Demise. You can get the Elder Lich in the Grave. Um, yeah, it's alright. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is pretty good. This gets you to Golden Lord. You got the card of Demise. Yeah, it's, it's all right. One, two, three, four, five. This is what I'm talking about. You summon Inspector Border, activate Curse Elder Lane, get a search, set three pass. You're winning that game. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe if you have not already.